Here you go. Cheers. We have a really, really big idea. Some would say a stupid idea. <laughs> a few weeks ago, we were sitting on the couch on Sunday and we have this kind of Sunday ritual that we've done for at least 15 years. Long time. Every Sunday, we sit on the couch, we have brunch. It's the only day we're like couch potatoes. We have brunch, we sip some Prosecco, mimosas, whatever we're feeling, and we watch all of the Italian things we can consume. We have our favorites. But a couple of weeks ago, we were watching Stanley Tucci's series on CNN. And he hit a point in the series where he talked about when he was 11, his dad did a sabbatical in Florence. And that's when he fell in love with the culture in the country and began to speak Italian. And uh, this guy looked at me and he said, what if we, what if we just packed it all up and, and did that and, and moved, moved to and moved to Italy? We've always loved Italy and you know when we first had Sophia our daughter she's now almost seven on Sundays part of our ritual is we would watch videos about the International School of Florence and I remember with her in my arm a baby sitting on my lap and I was like Rob this would be a dream come true A couple years ago, we left our home in Atlanta, packed everything up, and we did four months in Europe. And guess where we did the majority of it? Italy. We did three months in Florence, and we went to tour the international school. So this has been on our radar. Hey, right, Kim, what do you think? What do I think? This is happening. That's what I think. And so we walked in, Within pretty short order of walking in the school, this one over here, I can feel her <laughs> shaking next to me, but you know that, that, you know that one? Um, the cry. The cry. The, I like to call it the ugly cry. And I'm pretty sure Oprah coined that term. She did. And she starts tearing up. And um, we're waiting, you know, trying to look cool, waiting for the, uh, headmaster the, head, the headmaster to take us around. and. And so the headmaster arrives with the principal and they give us a tour. They're showing us the music room and um, out, you know, in the back where they play. And when you walk outside and you see where they play, there's these perfectly manicured hedges that are overlooking the rolling hills of Tuscany. And we come back inside and this one just starts crying. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then the, the principal stops her and she says, we don't apologize for our emotions here. And then that made her cry more. We value our emotions here. You never need to apologize for that. We're Italian. Putting your child in a school that values all of the emotions that they're gonna feel mm -hmm. in that environment, it's like, I knew this was the place for her. But we were thinking down the road, five, six years until that day on the couch when he looked at me and said, do you think we should move? And that's all I need to hear because we think we're gonna do it now. But there's a lot of hills to climb. There are a lot of hurdles. We have to see first if we can even get her into the school. She'd be going into like first or second grade. We have to see first, can we even get her in? And then we don't know anything about getting a visa we have to figure that out. Yeah, I mean, what's the... Where what's, are we going to live? What are we going to do? Like, what's the difference between a dream, a fantasy, a goal? Action. And, <laughs> and Yeah, action. And, you know, so right now it is this dream. It's this vision. But underneath that vision is a lot that needs to be uncovered. So what's our first step? Apply to the international school, right? The hell, I don't know. I don't know. Where, where do you begin this process? I mean, it's ginormous. All right. I think... Without her being in the international school, we can't go. So you want to start with school? So what's the first step? See if we can get her into the international school. Dear Robert and Kimberly, we are pleased to inform you, that's a good start, that Sophia has been accepted to grade two for the school year 2021 2022. The acceptance letter will be sent to you next week. Stop it.
Cheers. Congratulations. Congratulations. I can't even believe it. Our baby girl is in the school. Sophia. Yeah? We have something to tell you. What? You just got accepted to the International School of Florence. <laughs> that is going to be your new school right there. <laughs> Are you are you so excited? Yeah. <laughs> when you introduce yourself to all of your friends in Italy, how are you going to do it in Italian? Mi chiamo Sofia. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> the fact that I'm sitting here right now with an acceptance letter. It almost doesn't even seem real. I want to call them and say, you do have the right Murgatroyd, right? <laughs> right? There can't be two in Italy. It doesn't even feel real. But here's the big thing now. We've got to get the visa. And that's a whole other process that, wait for it, doesn't start until you're 90 days out from your flight. For now, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Chin chin. Chin chin. When you're in Italy for three months, particularly Florence, where we were, it is really hard to get that out of your minds. You know, waking up in the morning with the sound of church bells and walking outside your door watching moms and dads um, put their children on the back of a bicycle and go down the cobblestone streets and listening to the stores that are opening in the morning and then you know in the evening switching things up and having a, an aperitivo where you're just having a drink and all the bars have free food and drinks and um, and then they do the passeggiata where people walk through the streets for no other reason than to just take a stroll. When you get that inside of you, even though I had my sights set on where we were moving le next, which was Southern California, and I was really excited about it, I was never able to get that thing out of me. It was always in me. And you <laughs> cried the moment we landed in Southern California. I cried for the first two months here because I, every time I went to the grocery store, I came home crying because when I was in Italy, I would go to the market, the Mercado, and we would walk, Sophia did a little kindergarten there. So on the way home, we'd stop at the market. I would have this um, banter with the lady who was picking out and selecting my fruits and vegetables. And we grew a relationship with this one little stall and I saw like on day one when I asked for tomatoes, she kind of just shoved it in the bag and handed it to me. But when I came back the next day and the next day, she started seeing me and smiling. And then I'd come back the next day and she'd add a little extra basil and then she'd find some great strawberries. And it began relationship in this community that was just so fulfilling. That to me, I just missed the interaction that I was getting. And then we would go and sit and have a cappuccino and talk and walk through the streets. It's an open air museum. But I think for me, what really um, is driving me to want to make this move is watching Sophia in Italy, watching her literally skip through the streets and dance in the piazzas and twirl and be a kid. And it was so refreshing to see this. She was so excited to be there. And she has been asking to go back. When I decided I wanted to ask you to marry me, I hit a ring down my pants and took you to um, uh, Positano, Amalfi specifically, and asked you to marry me inside a church in, in Positano. Then we decided, we fell in love with it while we were there. A year later, we said, well, what if we actually got married in Italian? Now, we didn't do just the ceremony there, but we were legally married here. We got legally married in Positano, and I'll it show you was some, I'll show you some pictures. incredibly magical. There's one. By the way, you gotta love a husband that has your wedding photos. Two. On cue. I'll show you one in more. In his phone. Oh, that's a good one. I'll show you one more. It's the day. Today's the day. It We're is, on our uh, way right now. It is very exciting. It is very nervousing. It is very everything. There's a lot of emotion right now. There's all kinds of feelings. 
So we're going to do the best we can to take this video camera into a government facility. And I think that that's not going to happen. So it's we'll, definitely uh, not happening. We'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be updating you um, as we can and where we can, but we wanted to take you along the ride. Well, what he means is we'll catch you on the other side of this appointment. It's a sign, literally and figuratively. So we did it. We went in. We went through all of the paperwork. But the computer. But the computer was down. <laughs> so she is going to call me this week, hopefully with a positive answer, and we will have our visas in hand very soon. Answer it, answer it, answer it. Oh my God, answer it. Hello? Hey, Francesca. Yes, this is Robert. Two, slide it three times. Cool, so we can come pick up the uh, the passports? Yes, we can come pick them up. Okay, okay. great. <sighs> really? It's in it. We got the visa. Oh my God, let me, talk, let me talk to her. Let Thank me talk you. To her. Thank you, Maddie, I'm very happy. Thank you. Bye. 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 You hung up on her. <laughs> <laughs> We did it!